welcome back to the nerd jock we got a special treat for you here today and i've mentioned it in some of the other videos that we were going to have the steam deck and yes it got here today and super excited to be sharing this with you we're going to just do a little bit of an unboxing here and then um, just go over maybe some gameplay my thoughts on if maybe you should hold off and wait till they fix some kinks or go ahead and go for it if you've already got the pre-order. Before we get into this unboxing, don't forget, if you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because we have some fresh new content coming out. We try to upload at least one video a week on here, if not more. So let's go ahead and get into this. Subscribe, hit the like button, and enjoy the video. So the simple packaging it comes in uh, you wouldn't even know it's a Steam Deck. There's just a little logo here. Uh, but other than that, it's not like opening a PS5. You know, with, you have the big logo on the outside of the PS5. You got the picture of the PS5 on there. It's just a simple box with the battery warning. This is actually how it came in the mail. And so um, let's get inside. Nice. So. Like I said, simple packaging. You wouldn't even know otherwise that it was a Steam Deck. Got all this uh, language here. And then um, on the inside here, it just says attention. And then it tells you how to plug in and then power it on. Going right here, you've got the actual Steam Deck with um, of course they already have it in the case for you here there is the Steam Deck and then what do we have here looks like the charger put this box out of the way nothing else so it's just like I said simple packaging the Steam Deck with the case and your wall charger so there is your charger The box here is your uh, little user manual, instruction manual for the Steam Deck. Let's get her open. Super exciting. I know a lot of people had, were upset uh, from being moved from Q2 to Q3. Um, yeah, right now it's kind of inev inevitable with what's going on in the world, but I have heard even more frustrating stories where people have been moved to Q2 and then all the way to Q3. Um, it is what it is. I understand, like I said, I understand um, that it can be upsetting at times, but um, it, it, it happens. I did get the 512 uh, gig model. Um, figured I'm going to be putting a lot of stuff on here. I will be putting a micro SD card in here. I love that um, you have that option and it's uh, super simple. You just pop it in just like um, on the Switch. Um, and we will be doing some size comparisons between this and the Switch and then a PS Vita. But the case, I, I mean, you can tell this is a premium product. It is a hard shell, nice case with, you got your handle right here. I mean, you can just tell this is premium. Um, in the back here, you got a little um, elastic strap, and then it looks like another case, probably for your uh, your charger, your wall outlet charger. Um, so that's a nice touch right there. And shove this in there, and it should, with the indentation there. It should fit perfect. All right, here's the exciting part. There she is. Beautiful. And as you can see, the design on the inside, how they, I mean, the attention to detail to design this around the actual deck itself. Um, to form around it, you know, you have the slots for the um, joysticks and then uh, just the rays right here for the actual screen itself. And 
and it feels like a premium product when you remove this. Um, it does have that uh, etched uh, screen, so it, it's an anti-glare screen with the 512 if you do receive that 512 edition. Um, you get that uh, anti-glare screen and um, we're gonna see if that if it was worth that extra money uh, of course I already think it's extra for that extra money for the 512 itself and so that's just a, a plus to get that and then you have of course your SD slot down here to add uh, memory and let's get her plugged in and get her turned on and then of course the plug-in on this is on top it's a plus uh, when you have a plug-in down here it tends to get in the way, especially for something this heavy, if you're going to be resting it on a table or uh, even on your, like, on your stomach if you're playing in bed. Um, it's just more beneficial to have it on top so it doesn't get in the way. Um, so I think that is a plus. We've got the LED indicator light up here saying that it is plugged in. All right, so we are on the setup screen here. And um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna set this up and then uh, we'll bring it back to you guys and I'll show you the user interface. So we've got it all set up here. Uh, welcome to the Steam Deck. Uh, before you start playing, take a quick tour of the device, press screen and let's go. Here is the power button, as you can see there. And then there is right next to it is your USB-C and then your volume controls and your headphone jack. And then you've got some vents, your R1, R2, L1, L2. There is the user interface right there. I'll load up one of these games and uh, give you a little guys a little bit of gameplay just to see how um, one of them actually plays. The user interface is, uh, in my opinion, nice for some, a handheld, you know, Valve's first handheld. I love how um, you go to the Steam store and it tells you what games are verified to be working on the Steam Deck currently. Um, so if you just scroll through here, they'll have a green check mark and that tells you that they are um, fully compatible with the Steam Deck. Um, this, the store that I'm in currently is showing me all the games that have been verified by Valve telling us what is playable. So we have like Cuphead, uh, we have Dying Light, 2K22, and then there's of course at the top uh, we have Elden Ring, which I will be very excited once I purchase that on Steam uh, to be playing that on the Steam Deck. Um, and then you know there's just tons of games that they have on the store that they're advertising right now um, that work with the console so I, I like how they've added that on there and of course just like the steam powered store just like the steam store if you were to go on your PC you know they have it set uh, separated by category um, if you go over to your games um, some of them it will allow you to install and say that they are available they, if you can tell here they'll have a question mark and if you click on that game, I'm going to go here into uh, Red Dead Redemption. And if you hit install, it'll pull up a it'll pull up a little window that says Steam Deck compatibility. Valve is still learning about Red Dead Redemption 2. We don't currently have further information regarding Steam Deck compatibility. But if I were to go in to install it, it would allow me to install it. So basically what I believe they're telling you here is, you know, we're still learning on it. It's playable um, to a certain extent. You're probably going to have issues within the game. So while the game is loading, um, I was just inspecting my Steam Deck as everything I knew I purchased, you know, for quality control issues. Uh, I, am, I wouldn't say I'm a very nitpicky person it's not a huge deal but when it's a new product like this um, and it could affect it in the long run in a more severe way and since they provide these things with warranty I just want to show you guys I do have a tiny dead pixel on my Steam Deck 
which it's not the end of the world. Um, I will as soon as possible report this to Steam. Let me show you guys the dead pixel I found on my Steam Deck. Now I'm sh not sure how well the camera is picking this up, but if you look right there, there's a uh, dead pixel on the screen. Um, I know you can kind of see it, it's a little blurred out, but um, right there, um, is the uh, dead pixel. Before I get into some gameplay, I just wanted to do some quick size comparisons. I'm sure there's other videos out there already kind of showing that to you, but I wanted to go over um, the Switch. I have a Switch here, a Nintendo Switch OLED, and then I have a PS uh, Vita. Looks monstrous next to the Switch. Um, I say you still got about two more inches on the side over here going to the side comparing it to the switch so there is it side by side next to the switch there's a screen comparison of course you've got the oled here the colors look more vibrant on the switch but as far as the screen goes on the actual steam deck i mean it it pops it looks amazing of course we haven't gotten into any gameplay yet to actually compare that now let me switch, uh, put the switch over to the side here and let's do some size comparisons to the Vita. And <laughs> I'd say you could almost put three or four of these Vitas just to make up this Steam Deck. Um, it is a huge difference in size comparison. As far as weight goes on the Steam Deck, it's actually not that bad. Um, I don't see m my hands getting too fatigued um, playing the Steam Deck and as far as just holding it, I know there had been some people saying that um, for their hands that it was uh, a little bit too big. And it, it feels good in the hands. Um, I don't see any issues reaching for like the joysticks. Um, everything just seems very well placed on the actual Steam Deck. Um, I don't feel like there's any issues. Of course, uh, only time will tell and gameplay as far as weight and my hands getting fatigued and seeing how everything is placed uh, and playing um, um, in the games. Come on! There's my back! Come on, Mr. Wood, give me everything you want! I don't even think about it! Oh, oh. I'll do it! I'll do it! Are we doing this? Come on! Hurry up! It, it, it looks and plays decent on here for it being so new to the system. Uh, you can tell they had to format it to this actual screen. But I mean, as far as it playing and the controls being smooth, it, I mean, it's playing well. There's a, it hasn't glitched at all. It's playing smooth. The sound sounds great. Uh, the quality of the speakers. I mean, when they said these have good speakers, this system has good speakers, it has great speakers. I mean, compare, it's, there's no comparison. If I were to like compare it to the Switch, there's no comparison on the speakers on this thing. So we'll do a little bit more gameplay here just to show you um, how it's running. And then I will go ahead and give you guys uh, my final thought.
just wanted to give you guys a sneak preview of what gameplay was like on this thing. Um, running a game at, such as GTA, it did fairly well. Um, the, like I said, the gameplay was smooth. Yeah, the graphics were smooth. The experience has been great so far. Um, of course, over time, uh, getting into more detailed games, um, playing different games, there's going to be uh, flaws and defects in each different game uh, category. Now, uh, we I will be making more videos, of course, on the Steam Deck. Tons of videos uh, probably on this thing. Seeing how the Steam Deck plays with certain games. Different opinions out there. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a first look, my impressions on this thing, and um, not give you guys so much of a review, but my thoughts. Now, should you get this or should you hold off? Um, as of right now, um, the comfortability of this thing, I mean, holding this in my hand, it feels more comfortable than the Switch. The way it's molded to your hands, the, you have the actual grips to whereas on the Switch, you, it's just a flat, it's, you know, it's a tablet with the controllers attached. So you don't have anything to really grip back here, it rests, the controllers race, rest on your palms. So as far as comfortability and comparing it to the Switch, um, you know, it's, it's to me right now playing this thing is it just fits more comfortable in my hand and and feels better um, but of course it's a whole different ball game we're talking about here if you would have told me 10 years ago that I'm gonna have I would be able to have a PC this small in my hands and be able to play those AAA titles on something like this I probably wouldn't have believed you if you have a pre-order already to keep your pre-order and go ahead and go through with it. You you won't be disappointed. It's a new product, of course, when it first comes out, you see all these flaws on this system right now that are coming about. You know, they had the, the drift. The joysticks were drifting. Uh, so Valve fixed that immediately and it, with an update, with the patch, it fixed that drift. Um, and of course more things are going to come about so build quality on this thing is they just did an outstanding job of build quality um, you will after a while uh, like when I was playing GTA you will hear the fans kick on they're not extremely loud um, but you do hear them uh, the luckily the the good speakers they this system has um, kind of overpowers it and I really will need to do more testing with more graphically intensive games, playing those games on different settings to see how those fans kick in more. Um, but yeah, of course, it's it's a gaming PC and it's into something this small. You know, you have on your actual PCs, you have these huge fans. You have a little tiny fan in here cooling this machine down and you're playing those same games on this system. Um, that you would be playing on your PC. So yeah, you're going to hear fan noise, but like I said, the build quality on this thing, the attention to detail from the actual deck itself all the way to the case, I mean, they, you can tell Valve um, just outdid themselves this time. Now, yeah, like on my deck, you know, I found the flaw of it has a dead pixel. Now there's no doubt in my mind that Valve will not resolve my issue um, the, the matter is of how quickly, of course, um, you know, them, they're tr them trying to fulfill everyone's orders and then I'm sure I'm not the only one that has had an issue with their deck and it, there could be bigger issues out there. Um, I, I haven't seen them yet, but I'm sure they will start to arise as more of these things are out in the wild. I'll update you guys here on the channel um, to see how quickly Valve responds to me and um, how they take care of the issue. I think I'm going to love this thing. It's already, I'm already excited about it. I'll put some more time into it. And like I said, more videos will be re releasing here on the channel. Um, and as more problems arise, if more problems arise, you know, I will make videos on that as well. 
and then there will be tons of gameplay so I can show you guys the gameplay footage and how uh, certain games play. But if you have a, one of these reserved already, go through with it. If you're on the fence, I mean, in my opinion, these things are, it's one of the hot items people want right now, especially PC gamers. I don't think that anyone would have an issue putting this back on the market to sell it. Um, if you need to, if you just, you know, if you decided otherwise that you, it wasn't for you, you didn't like it, this thing will sell quickly um, at the price you got it or even more. Um, but especially with people out there trying to get their hands on one of these things. So if you already have one reserved or if you have one on the way, um, go through with it. I think in my opinion, um, even if you don't like it, it's going to resell very quickly if um, it just wasn't for you. I'll see how Windows runs. We'll do some videos on that as well. Um, but it's it's a premium product and it just it shows that Valve uh, did an outstanding job on this product. Uh, thanks again guys for watching the video. Leave your comments below. Are you guys getting the Steam Deck? Uh, do you got one on the way? Are you on the fence? Have you not ordered one yet? Give us your thoughts and opinions on um, this console. Do you think it's worth the money on something like this? Will you be waiting for the next generation of this console? Or are you waiting for more of these to go out in the wild just to see other people's opinions to see if it'd be worth it for you to get it for sure? Also leave comments on um, what videos you'd like to see on this thing, uh, what questions you have. Thanks again guys for joining us here on the Nerd Jock. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also hit that notification bell so you know when we post content on here. But until the next time guys, thanks for being here.